What's up guys? I'm back with another do-it-yourself modern accent wall design. In this episode, I want to show you how to beautify a simple wall like this one just with a little bit of trim and paint. As you can see, this wall was extremely plain and simple. So as always, I started by removing the electrical plates and then I put some tape on them to cover them up. And then I got my pole sander and sanded the entire wall. After the sanding was done, I put the microfiber cover on top of my pole sander and cleaned up the whole wall. Then I got my trusty stud finder and marked the location of the studs on top and the bottom of the wall. And then I got my digital tape measure and measured the width of the wall. Then I cut myself a piece of trim to the measurements that I needed and then I applied some of this construction adhesive to the back of it and this is how it looks like after applying the construction adhesive to the back of that trim. I used this trim for the very top part of the wall and then I secured it in place with 2 inch 18 gauge brad nails. I nailed it right to the studs. And then I repeated this for the bottom part of the wall as well. I used 1x3 primed MDF trim for this whole project. I used my laser level to draw a line about 6 inches away from the wall. If you don't have one of these you can use a level instead. The ceilings are about 9 foot high here so I cut myself a piece of trim at 6.5 feet and then I put some of that construction adhesive to the back side of it and then I lined it up with my laser line and then I nailed it down to the drywall. And then I got myself two pieces of a scrap wood, I cut one to 3 inches and the other one at 5. These are supposed to be my spacers, I use these as a guide so I can make all those spacing very nice and perfect. I set up my laser level right on the marks that I left onto the drywall and then I installed the next trim using that level line. So as far as the pattern, the trim sizes, the spaces in between them and the measurements, everything is completely optional. This is what I came up with and it looked pretty nice at the end. I used 3 inch and 5 inch spacing in between them. In my opinion, if I was going with 7 inches instead of 5, it would have even looked better than this. So as you can see in vertical lines, I either use one long piece or two smaller pieces. I also cut the end parts of these trim work at 45 degrees, which again in my personal opinion, it added a bit more character to the wall. Pretty much after using the 3 inch spacer in every 3 or 4 lines, I switched to 5. Basically, I didn't use the 5 that many times, it was just used to break it off in branches of 3 or 4 lines. I just don't want to bore you too much, I repeated this process for the entire wall and this is how it looks like at the end. And then I went over all the nails with my finger to double check they're sitting below the surface. If anything was sticking out, I used my hammer and the nail set to drive them in. I used this caulking for all the seams and then I went over it with my finger to clean up all the excess. I used this spackling compound for all the nail holes and all the seams that needed to be filled. And then I used my orbit sander to go over all the seams and make everything nice and smooth. I used a 220 grit sandpaper. After the sanding was done, I cleaned up and after that, I wrapped up the entire walls and the flooring in this room because I was planning on using my sprayer. You can definitely use a brush and roller if you want to, but using a sprayer just makes it a lot faster and easier. I used my Graco Magnum X5 airless sprayer for this project and the tip that I used was 215. 
Again, I highly recommend you to buy the highest quality paint that you can afford. For this project, I used this paint by Sherwin William. It's a bit expensive, but you really pay for what you get. The quality of this paint is extremely good. It's extremely durable, it's washable, it's scrubbable, and it has all the bells and whistles that you ever want in a paint. Accent walls normally have a lot of details in them. If you really value your time and money, it's best if you can buy the best quality paint right at the beginning. So you're gonna be done and over with it. I applied two 10 coats of paint to this wall. I waited about 40 minutes before I remove all the tape and the plastic. The light fixtures in this room were pretty old, so we decided to replace them with these ones. And this is the final result. If you're new to the channel, I also have other videos explaining how to do these wall designs. If you like these ones also, please make sure you subscribe and also watch the other videos as well. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And at the end, thank you very much for your time. Until next time, peace.